Two astronauts originally scheduled for an eight-day mission aboard the International Space Station ISS might now be stuck until next year due to safety concerns surrounding Boeing Starliner. Elon Musk could soon reveal information that may exacerbate Boeing's already troubled situation. Currently, NASA has delayed the astronauts' return citing concerns about the Starliner safety. Astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore, who were meant to return in February aboard Boeing's spacecraft, will instead be brought back using SpaceX's Crew Dragon. This shift highlights the growing divide between SpaceX's rising dominance and Boeing's struggles in the space industry. The unfolding drama began when, in August 2024, Musk tweeted a cryptic message, Aircraft companies won't rule the space industry just like car makers don't run the aircraft business. It was seen as a direct jab at Boeing, which, despite being a giant in aerospace, has faced repeated setbacks in space. Musk's words followed NASA's decision not to use the Starliner due to technical glitches encountered during a June 2024 docking attempt at the ISS. What could have been a routine mission turned into a potential crisis, as NASA feared the astronauts would have no safe way home without SpaceX's intervention. Musk noted that if SpaceX weren't available, NASA may have had to rely on Russia to bring the astronauts back which would have marked a significant setback for U.S. space independence. This incident is the latest in a string of difficulties for Boeing's Starliner program. A decade ago, NASA awarded contracts to both Boeing and SpaceX to transport astronauts to the ISS, aiming to reduce reliance on Russian Soyuz missions. Boeing, receiving $4.2 billion for its CST-100 Starliner, was expected to outperform SpaceX, which was awarded $2.6 billion. However, since 2020, SpaceX has launched seven successful crewed missions while Boeing has yet to complete a crewed mission safely. The Starliner's repeated technical and safety failures have cast doubt on its future, especially as SpaceX continues to deliver reliable performance. As the two astronauts await their return, the incident raises broader questions about the sustainability of Boeing's role in the space industry. Boeing, in stark contrast, has yet to achieve a successful crewed flight with the Starliner and has exceeded its budget by $1.5 billion. Now, let's take a moment to discuss the International Space Station, ISS. This massive laboratory orbits low Earth and is the result of collaboration among five major space agencies. NASA, Roscosmos, ESA, JAXA, and CSA. It stands as the largest human-made structure in space functioning as a versatile science lab where astronauts conduct experiments in microgravity and study the space environment. As for Boeing, the company envisioned the Starliner as the ideal spacecraft for transporting astronauts to and from the ISS. The Starliner consists of a reusable crew capsule and a disposable service module. While it's larger than SpaceX's Crew Dragon, it's smaller than NASA's Orion capsule, with the capacity to carry up to seven astronauts, although NASA intends to limit flights to four at a time. Additionally, the Starliner can remain docked to the ISS for up to seven months, launching on an Atlas V N-22 rocket from Cape Canaveral, Florida. However, the Starliner journey has been riddled with challenges. From software bugs to parachute issues, Boeing has faced numerous setbacks. The spacecraft was initially expected to be ready for crewed flights in 2017, but various delays due to mismanagement and engineering problems have pushed this timeline back significantly. One of the earliest signs of trouble came during a test flight in December 2019. The Starliner launched successfully on an Atlas V rocket, but during its mission to dock with the ISS, carrying only cargo and a crash test dummy named Rosie, things went awry. About 15 minutes after launch, the spacecraft separated from the rocket and prepared to fire its engines to head toward the ISS. However, when it was time to execute this maneuver, the engines failed to ignite. Boeing's team quickly worked to regain control of the Starliner, successfully firing its main engines and achieving what they termed a stable orbit. The immediate crisis was averted, but everyone involved was anxious to determine what had gone wrong. In the wake of this incident, NASA and Boeing officials held a press conference at Cape Canaveral, where former NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine provided the initial findings, expressing a mix of relief and disappointment about the spacecraft's performance. During the press conference, Jim Bridenstine explained that a critical timing error was responsible for the incident. Essentially, the Starliner internal clock was misaligned, causing the spacecraft to believe it was further along in its mission than it actually was. This glitch resulted in a series of incorrect maneuvers, which wasted fuel and jeopardized the entire mission. Despite the officials' attempts to remain optimistic, their disappointment was palpable. They had invested years in meticulous planning for every aspect of the mission 
and witnessing it unravel due to a seemingly minor error was disheartening. This incident prompted the teams to rethink their strategy and address the significant issue before attempting another launch. It's surprising how something as seemingly insignificant as a timing mistake could derail a billion-dollar spacecraft. This situation underscores the reality of space travel. Even the tiniest details are crucial. What was supposed to be a significant leap forward and a showcase of Boeing's capabilities turned into a stark reminder of how easily complex technology can falter. However, the troubles for the Starliner were far from over. Following the initial flight's mishaps, Boeing had to revise its plans. They announced that an additional unmanned test would be necessary before the Starliner could be considered safe for transporting astronauts. In response, NASA initiated a seven-month investigation, which revealed 80 issues that Boeing needed to rectify before attempting another launch. While Boeing was tied up with repairs and investigations, SpaceX was making steady progress, successfully completing crude tests that Boeing had yet to even start. Just when it seemed things might improve for Boeing, further complications arose. As engineers prepared for another uncrewed test, originally aimed for a 2021 launch, they discovered over a dozen corroded valves in the propulsion system, necessitating extensive rework and testing to resolve the problem. As a result, the launch was delayed once more and ultimately pushed to May 2022. When the Starliner finally launched for its second space flight, there was a glimmer of hope that perhaps Boeing had finally overcome its myriad challenges. The Starliner successfully made its way to the International Space Station and back without any significant issues, marking a long-awaited victory for Boeing after a series of setbacks. This successful test flight paved the way for NASA to announce plans for the Starliner's first crewed flight, a monumental step that would involve two seasoned astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams. Butch Wilmore was well acquainted with high-pressure situations, having flown combat missions during the Gulf War in 1991. He also served as a flight test instructor before becoming an astronaut in 2000. His first mission to the International Space Station ISS, took place in 2009 aboard the shuttle Atlantis, where he delivered critical spare parts. In 2014 he spent six months on the islands, launched by a Russian Soyuz, during which he completed four spacewalks, showcasing his expertise and adaptability in spacecraft operations. Sunita Williams made history as the first woman to serve as a test pilot for a new spacecraft. Before joining NASA in 1998, she had served in a Navy helicopter squadron overseas during the Gulf War buildup. Williams first visited the ISS in 2006 aboard the shuttle Discovery, where her stay was extended due to hail damage to her return flight, forcing her to adapt to longer durations in space. She later returned to the station as a commander, bringing a wealth of experience to the mission. With these two highly experienced astronauts at the helm, Boeing felt confident in tackling the Starliner mission. Both Wilmore and Williams had faced combat missions, long durations in space and challenging circumstances, making them an ideal team for the Starliner. However, the spacecraft itself was still facing challenges. The hardware issues that had previously plagued the Starliner had not simply vanished. Just as Boeing was preparing to conduct tests with astronauts, New complications emerged during the review process in 2023. It seemed like progress was being made, but further setbacks followed. These included the need for an additional drop test on a new parachute system and the discovery that nearly a mile of tape used to insulate the spacecraft's wiring was flammable, necessitating a complete swap out. Despite these obstacles, by the spring of 2024 it appeared that Boeing was finally on the path to resolving its issues and moving forward with the Starliner program. Boeing seemed to have finally addressed the engineering issues that had plagued them for years, instilling a sense of hope that the troubled path of the Starliner program was behind them. With the spacecraft prepared and the astronauts ready, anticipation was high worldwide for the long-awaited mission. However, the challenges ahead were far from over. The beginning of 2024 proved to be tumultuous for Boeing, marked by one crisis after another. In January, a 737 MAX experienced a serious incident where a wall blew out during a flight, ripping the shirt off a nearby child's back. Not long after, a Boeing 747 departing Miami was seen with flames erupting from its engines. March brought further misfortune when a Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner suddenly nosedived during a flight from Australia to New Zealand, injuring 50 people. Adding to the turmoil, whistleblower John Barnett was found dead in his truck under suspicious circumstances while in the midst of a deposition for his defamation lawsuit against Boeing. This raised concerns about the company's integrity, further straining its public image.